So what do those UPC symbols on your favorite comics mean anyway? Let's find out. So most of the time nowadays when you buy a comic, it's going to have a UPC symbol. This one's um, Radioactive Spider Gwen number one, and this is the number 00111. Here's issue number two, and it's got the number down here, 00211. Okay, here's Spidey number one, and it has 00111. Here's Hip Hop Family Tree number three. It's got 00311. Maybe you're figuring something out here. Hip Hop Family Tree number four, zero zero four one one. Hmm. Here's uh, Amazing Spider Man number three, and it's got zero zero three one one. Hmm. Here is Plutonia number three. The UPC says zero zero three one one. You should have figured it out by now that in the five-digit UPC right here, um, the first three numbers represent the issue number. Here's Star Wars number five, so it's 00511. Number six, of course, and it's, guess what, 00611. Here's Lobo 11, so it's 01111. Creepy number 22, 02211. SpongeBob Comics number 50, UPC 05011. Gold Digger number 222, and then the UPC 22211. So the first three digits of the five digit UPC symbol relate to the issue number. Well, that's easy to to remember. What about the other two digits? The other two digits have to do with variations. Here's Sabrina, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina number two, and here's uh, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina number two. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina number three, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina number three. Well, this one is 00211 and this one is 00221 this one is 00311 00321 so the uh, the fourth digit has to do with which cover variation is it Here's Tomboy, um, number one. We've got 00121, so this is the second variation. I didn't buy the first vari variation, so this is 0021. Here's Action Comics, number 900, and it's got uh, 90031. This is the third variation on this cover. No, I don't have the other two. Here's uh, Gwenpool Holiday Special, and issue number one, of course, and we've got 001411. It's the fourth cover variation of this book. We've got all new Archie number three, and this is 00351. This is the fifth variation cover of issue number three. Here's uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, number 275. Cool wraparound cover. And it's 27551, so the fifth cover of issue 275. Um, this is fun here. Here's Archie, number 666. It's the last issue of Archie Comics. And here's also Archie 666, even though it's Blue Ribbon Comics. Top Notch Comics, Pep Comics, Zip Comics, Jackpot Comics. So these are all variations on issue number 666. And here we have 66611, 
6651, and of course 66661. So all six variant covers of this issue. How high can that number go? It can go pretty high because here is Justice League number one with the South Dakota flag. So we've got uh, 01451. So the 45th version of this cover. Pretty crazy. Well, what does the last digit mean out of our five digits, you may ask? Okay, here we have Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, number one. Really good book if you haven't picked it up, by the way. And then it's uh, this. They wrote it a little bit different here. They wrote 10011, issue number one, first uh, cover version. What does the final digit mean? The final digit means what print. This is also number one, but this is 10012. This is the second print. So the final digit is what print? First print, second print. Popular book, so they made a second print. Over here, a very popular book also, Mad Max Fury Road. And this one is 01112. Second print out of this. Print one sold out, so second print. Here's a fun one. Rick and Morty, number one. So, of course, 00111. Issue number one, cover number one, print number one. Well, here's Rick and Marty 00114, fourth print. First print, fourth print. Spot the difference. Here we have then Harley Quinn number one with 00115, fifth print. Very popular book, went all the way up to fifth print. So basically that's the secret of the UPC symbol, the UPC code here. It's five digits. The first three usually mean the issue number. Then the fourth one means the variant cover number. And then the fifth number is the print. Which print, which edition of the book is it? And this system's been around a while. It hasn't always been fully consistent. Check it out here. I've got some classic 1990s covers, classic 1990s comics. Here's Daredevil number 333 from uh, around 1993. And here we've got 33311. So they were doing this 20 years ago. Marvel was doing this at least. We've got here Dune 2099. This one's also from about 1993, 94, around there, 95 or so. You can look it up. This is 02511, so that's just another example from back then. This one's Wonder Man from 1993, number 27. So it's got there, 02711. Um, usually it's DC and Marvel and the big companies that have used the UPC symbol, but Here's something from back in the day, a comic imprint you've never heard of, Techno Comics, Leonard Nimoy. Yes, the Leonard Nimoy had a comic book, Primortals. Here's uh, their UPC, 00111, just like the, the other well-known companies. Here we've got Wolverine, number 88. This one's interesting. This is 08821, so second cover of this, and this is another book from back in the 90s. Uh, so this system has been around for a while, although there have been variations on it over the years. For example, here, here's also from around the same time, 1990, Quasar, number 15, an early appearance of Rocket Raccoon, actually. And look at that, we've got Spider-Man in the UPC symbol. So there's no number there, but that was uh, to delineate it as a direct edition comic. There was newsstand comics and direct edition. Comics you got at the newsstand and comics you got at a comic shop directly. This is a direct edition. Marvel was also doing this. 
uh, back in the day. Here's from 1992, 30th anniversary, 90, uh, 1962 to 1992 of The Amazing Spider-Man. That was 20 years ago. Spider-Man's 50 years old, guys. So here's X-Men number 295 from 1992. No UPC, but this also meant direct edition. And then they also did other things like this. Here's Fantastic Four, number 341. And you've got Thor and Iron Man hanging out on the cover of Fantastic Four. Lastly, let me show you the WTF UPC symbols. Here's Futurama Comics number 77. It just came out late 2015. Uh, 11311? Even though it's 77 here, so that leads me to think one issue 113, maybe. Here's Bart Simpson, comics, number 99. That one's got 17511, so that doesn't make sense, I think. 175th issue, uh, but it's 99 up here. This one was from uh, 2000, uh, when was this one from? 2000, uh, this one's from 2001. It's Wah -huh, from Marvel. So this one's got a UPC of 00711, even though this says one over here, but by 2001, this system was in place. Wah -huh. This is another modern one. Uh, Marvel is proud to present Star Wars free previews. So this one just came out recently also. The UPC says 95811. Hmm. Another recent one, Spider-Gwen number zero. So of course that means that the UPC will be 0011. 00011. Makes sense. Voltron. This is uh, 2003 from Image Comics. Uh, look at that. Zero, 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 zero. And then the Twilight Zone has uh, no UPC, actually. This is from Now Comics. They're not publishing anymore, but this is from 1990. So there you have it. All these UPC symbols that you see in your comics nowadays, now you know what they mean. And so if you're like me, you'd like to know as much as you can about your comics. For the VM Campos Comic Book Club, this is VM Campos. See you next time.